on Signal Channel, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, self-driving cars. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is just a real basic uh, video about them. Uh, you know, uh, they have determined that there's uh, five or six, if you count zero, uh, levels of self-driving cars. Uh, level zero is basically the car you own today. Um, you get in, you drive it, it's dumb. It doesn't really do anything other than what you tell it to do. You, you turn the wheel, you know, it moves the wheel, um, you hit the brake, it stops, um, you know, you shift it into gear, it does its thing. Uh, level one uh, with self-driving cars uh, some of the newer cars might have this option where it's like adaptive cruise control, they call it, where you set the cruise control and say there's a car in front of you, uh, it'll adjust the space between your car and the car in front of you. So if the car in front of you speeds up, your car will speed up. If the car in front of you slows down, your car, and it'll keep that distance. So it's it's a very rudimentary um intelligence to the car um <clears throat> one of the other things is maybe um like you're in I, i've noticed this in some newer cars um it'll ha like say a car passes you on the left or right side the mirror will show you know there's a vehicle in that lane uh or it might be smart enough to say like say you're turning um into the left or right lane it might prevent you from doing that if there's a car there, maybe. Um, the other one, I would say this is level 1.5, but I think they consider a level one, is if you've seen uh, the, the videos like on, or commercials on TV with Matthew McConaughey, the Lincoln, um, you know, he's basically fixing his uh, dress shirt and the car is parallel parking for it. Uh, they consider that a level one. Um, I haven't actually seen one of those do that, but it seems pretty impressive from what I've read about it. It takes maybe two to three times as long as somebody that's good at parallel parking to park. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't good at that. Um, the next level is level two. And uh, the only car that does level two right now is a Tesla um, if it has the autopilot function. What the autopilot function does is you set it on the steering wheel and it has a display and it will maintain um, the lane if it's clearly marked and it will maintain uh, not wrecking into the car in front of you. Um, <clears throat> I rented a Model X it, it did work, but it didn't work great. Uh, I would say it worked maybe 80 or 95%, uh, but you always had to keep your hand on the steering wheel, um, even a light touch, just to make sure the system knew you were paying attention to it. Uh, level two is the highest we have right now. Um, you know, it's 2017. Uh, September 2017 uh, that's the highest level we have uh, I live in Pittsburgh I see a lot of them testing it uh, you have uber uh, locally testing it you have the new company Adelphi uh, which I haven't seen their cars but I heard that they're hiring some people to test here in Pittsburgh uh, and you also have Argo.ai I think Argo.ai which has partnered with um, Ford and I think they're investing something like a billion dollars uh, to make their own self-driving car um, I know there's Google and some other ones like comma AI and that uh, but they really uh, they may but I I don't personally ha have never seen the cars here in Pittsburgh uh, or testing um, I don't I think I mentioned uh, Uber also tests here in Pittsburgh. I forget if I mentioned that, uh, but the their 
you know, they're testing for, for their cab system. Uh, there's also a level three, which uh, this, nobody has a level three, but a level three is the car will switch between the car driving and the human driving. So like if it gets a little difficult to give it back to the human and then it'll take over. Um, a lot of car companies don't want to do level three. They feel it would be too complicated uh, and uh, the liability be high. Level four is actually when you get into the car driving itself. You get in the car, you know, it, uh, it drives itself pretty much wherever you tell it to. Um, it does all the function uh, as a person, but it's under operational design domain, which means probably like a highway and clear roads, not rain, not snow, not fog. So perfect driving conditions. Um, we don't have that right now. Uh, and then there's another level past that, which is the level five, which will drive in any condition. Um, that's where all these companies want to get. They want to get to level five where they, you know, you get in the car, you program where you want to go, you set it and the car drives. Um, we haven't got to that level, but I feel in the next five or 10 years, we'll probably be there. Um, I'm guessing probably closer to 10 years, but I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that it's five years. Uh, but uh, hopefully this explains a little bit about the different levels of self-driving cars and maybe it's informative to you. Thanks.